all right so this is the dell inspiron 11 um, model number 3162 that uh, i got from dell and this got uh, this has got 2 gb memory 32 gb e mmc multi which is multimedia card um, hard drive and uh, intel celeron processor i think it's 3650 or so so i ran some um, I saw some aspects of CPU utilization and uh, and uh, memory and hard drive utilization etc and I am realizing that for most of the time it's okay so long as if you're using a couple of browsers or doing some lightweight work <coughs> on uh, word processor etc it's perfectly fine but if you are doing mul multi-threaded things uh, multiple applications then it was um, it's definitely you can see the impact um, I ran five browser and in two browser there were live video streaming and then I saw the CPU rating reaching 100 so uh, here I ran a little test and I ran the two YouTube video at the same time and a few uh, normal browser CNN Fox News etc so that I can get the regular uh, um, I can get continuous uh, update and then I try to see how the CPU as well as the memory usage looks like on this uh, laptop without doing uh, any changes. And uh, this is what the hard drive utilization you see. Um, hard drive was 32 GB uh, eMMC card so it looked kind of okay but the CPU you can see it's 100% full pretty much uh, pretty much full um, CPU utilization and same with memory so memory is uh, 1.7 to 1.9 GB almost full so that are some of the limitations of the machine if you run multiple browsers and that to video streaming at the same time and this is the disk utilization that was kind of okay So one thing I did was before thinking about upgrading the memory etc is that I went to the uninstall the program and I pretty much uninstalled all the unnecessary programs like Dell programs uh, etc and even the McAfee antivirus because I'm planning to use the Windows built-in antivirus and that definitely helped um, in the memory uh, it's not much but at least in the CPU utilization I definitely saw a good improvement. So next I thought is then let me go ahead and upgrade the memory and that's when I hit the roadblock because literally there is no way to increase the memory or the hard drive. Uh, just for comparison purpose I ran the same um, statistics on a um, IBM ThinkPad Ultrabook one of those which has the Intel Core um, i7 processor etc and exact same settings multiple videos uh, youtube streaming etc and you can see the numbers are like cpu is less than 31 percent memory is only 58 percent etc so i just did a very quick uh, summary to see um, if this machine is really 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 slow from from the utilization perspective or not and it is in comparison to one of those 800 dollars machine as expected So uh, keep in mind there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 screws that you have to unscrew and one the central screw, screw at least in my case had a tiny little discover to it which I used uh, the knife to pry it and then after that I screw them. So you need to take all the 9 screws off. Alright. Alright so this is the laptop opened. Um, the way you do it is 
I started in my case I used a tiny little uh, screwdriver or a Phillips uh, flathead but if you have a prying tool you can use that and keep in mind that you do not start you do not start here you start here somewhere in this side or this side and you pry it open once and then slowly you have to keep feeling it and keep turning around so I went this way a little bit and then exact same thing I did on the left hand side and left hand side I found it a little bit easier so then I made all the way around here on the left hand side so again you start somewhere somewhere on the top you pry it open like this not here not here but here and then this comes out right and now here this is the the internal look all right so this is how the laptop looks like once you open the back cover now here if you want to take the battery out i just uh, try to take the battery out because i wanted to know what's underneath it um, nothing so in this laptop everything the hard drive as well as memory and cpu everything is on the single board this board over here and this board is protected by um, this metal strip and you would see one two three and four and when you unscrew these four things you would see four um, memory card of half gb each somewhere here one two three four and you would see one 32 gb um, hard drive uh, which is from sandisk i think is over there and that's pretty much it. everything is bold, built into the board so basically no chance of doing either the ssd upgrade or the memory upgrade So this is the Intel Celeron N3050 processor behind the metal strip. The four uh, memory block that I was talking about, half GB each and the SSD, sorry, EMC um, hard drive. All right. All right. So this is how these, uh, the sorry. laptop putting the back cover back is just opposite to opening it that means all those uh, screws that you opened it you have to screw it back one thing I wanted to add here is that once you do the proper alignment you would see I have this HDMI um, cable as well as your adapter as well as power cable and USB cable in already because I was finding it uh, somewhat difficult to align it properly so I did that because otherwise the cover wouldn't uh, fit uh, um, properly so I had to do all some of those uh, uh, alignment and pushing around before it aligned properly all right so that's pretty much it I just wanted to share this video so that if anyone can think of any ways to upgrade upgrade the memory or the hard drive you could let me know but at least uh, I wanted to share that I could not find it anything out and also I wanted to show you what's under the bonnet sort to say hope you enjoyed it thanks